Hello everybody. Well, welcome to Sunday. Today is the final day that we're talking about uh, selfishness and egocentrism. Uh, well, the point that I want to make today is the most difficult one, especially I put it on Sunday, uh, especially for pastors and for the speakers and leaders and singers, performers, because uh, when we perform, we want people to acknowledge our efforts and uh, when we, after singing or speaking or performing or preaching or teaching yeah you want people to come to you and uh, tell you how how good you've done how well you've done and we want to receive praise we want to receive compliment we want to receive encouragement and support but sometimes those things don't come and god especially makes it in that in that way that Sometimes nobody will come and give you praise or compliment. <laughs> and you know why God does that? Because that is absolutely necessary. That is necessary for your development. That is necessary to overcome your ego. <laughs> so uh, what the point I'm making today is after a successful effort, after a successful uh, you know, performance or engagement, it is important for you to be able to have power over yourself, power of self-control, by not expecting praise, compliment, support, or words of encouragement from anybody. After doing what you need to do, why don't you just take it as, you know, I'm a servant. That is, so I'm just doing what I need to do. I'm just doing what I must do. And I don't deserve to receive praise for this. If you can get to that place where you don't expect anybody to honor you or to praise you for what you do, you will definitely become a better person. And that is when God of heaven will begin to notice your effort and begin to come and bless you. Because he says, the God that sees what you do in secret knows how to come forth for you and reward you openly. When you are able to conceal your success and not demanding or not wishing or questing for you to be praised for it, that is when you are ready for God to honor you for it. All right. I hope these lessons on selfishness and egoism has helped you to become a better person. May the Lord bless you.